Hello and welcome to Railroute Train Dispatcher Simulator. This is a brand new simulator that has just released into early access as of last week at the time of this video actually coming out. Available currently for £10.25 until I believe the 8th of, of July after which it will go up to it says here £11.39. Uh, this title is all about being on the opposite side to what a normal simulator is. So normally you have a simulator where you're in the driver's seat of a racing car. You're in the uh, you're in the flight seat of an aircraft. You're in the driver's seat of a train or you're in the driver's seat of a truck, for example. It isn't often that you get simulators that do the opposite side of it. So, for example, uh, air traffic control simulators. There are a few of those very few and far between and here's another one this is a railway dispatch simulator so the idea behind this title is you have to manage the trains the points the signals and where trains are coming in and out of platforms depending on the area now in the week that this title has been out i've seen the workshop and there are a lot of things available already on the workshop in fact a number of these are workshop ones I haven't actually played these, but Holborn Viaduct, Manchester, East Coast Mainline South, uh, London Overground, Clapham Junction, Stratford. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? That is um, one of those, Cardiff, Earls Court, London Bridge, London Waterloo. That's all uh, Colchester, I think, is another one. That is all Workshop. It is really quite, quite interesting how popular the workshop already is even after one week so what i'm going to do in this video is i'm going to show you a little bit about this we're going to do the tutorial which is obviously ticked off there but i'm going to restart it we're going to do the tutorial then i'm going to play a timetable map a short timetable map which will be wakefield over here and then after that following on from that i would do swindon but that one will take about 45 minutes to an hour to do i'm going to take a look at perhaps one of these endless maps just to give you an idea of what you can do with this title or some of the things you can do so make sure you stay tuned and if you are interested in this game if i remember the link to the game will be in the description box below uh, but otherwise just search up rail route on steam and you will find it. Okay, so here we go. We have our tutorial. We're in there. Now, as you can see, the interface is, is quite simple. We, we have our overview down at the bottom. We have the railway. I'm just going to pause this. We have the current station that we have selected over here and the timetable for said station. We have our clock here and our time multipliers here. Spacebar moves between uh, the pause and play state and the numbers one, two, three, one, two, three, and four move between the various times. As you can see in the tutorial, it is showing us the station will be blinking. Ignore the, uh, ignore the yellow, I was going to say, what's the right term for this? Uh, constricting box? That is all right. Uh, highlighting box, I suppose. That we've got around. That's for the tutorial. It's the, actually the blinking part that we need to look, look at. So you can see the station blinks. So that's a waiting train. So you click that and this is actually helping us quite a lot. The train has a timetable. So you can see there that we have a timetable for it and what platform. So it says central one. So we have to accept it onto central one. There is another train, both are displayed in the station timetable over here, as I said, and each one is on its own platform, so platform one, platform two. So we can click on COM1022, which is that one there, and then we can accept that onto platform two. So there you go, the two trains are now here. That is sim that is as simple as it gets. So that's how you bring a train in. So here we can practice that. Yes, platform one. In comes the train. Now you can see here it says passing 0800. So that means it is not going to be stopping at the signal. So we can click that signal and the train will proceed. Now we want it to stop here. What you do is you right click. So left click to go forward, right click to pause. Notice that the opposite signal. So there was a signal going in the opposite direction. There is no need to do anything with this particular signal. So there's no action needed at that point in time. Yes, I want to clear this. 
Not clear. No. Doesn't want to clear. There you go. That is as simple as when it comes to controlling signals. Now, you might just be thinking, this is rather easy. So let's go ahead and do one from East End. So we'll accept this one coming through. Now we have points. So you can see that this wants to go from East End Platform 1 to Central Platform 1. So we need to flick that over, clear the signal. It is passing, so it's going to go straight through. And then we can press 3 to go up to 15 times speed. So 3 on the keyboard. Job done. Now we're going to handle one coming in on this side. So Central. Uh, we've got comms 1004, platform 2, it is passing, then we need to swap this back, and it's going to be passing, it's going to go to east end, so we'll let it go all the way through to east end, and we can fast forward this, there it is, it's now at east end. Now what we have to do is reverse the train, because as you can see it's central, East end going back to central. So we press reverse. You'll notice it has reversed because the lights change in the opposite direction. Then it needs to pass central platform one. So we need to change this over that direction. That is fine. And as you can see, it is going to leave at 0801. So we just have to wait for the time. So again, we can do 15 times speed and off we go. And that is it. That is the tutorial, nice and simple, and that is pretty much the gist of the game. There is nothing really more complicated than that basic setup. So that, that is the basic setup for it. I am going to do this, but we're not going to go on this one. I'm going to go to, to the main menu and we're going to do a proper, a proper one that I know. So the gist of the game is control the trains coming in and out, get the right platforms, get the right signals, and... That is it. So you're probably wondering, well, how does that, how is that a title? How is that a game? I'll show you. If we go to Wakefield here and load up the timetable map. Now we have to stick to a timetable. So there's a score and it isn't just one train. So here we go. We have one coming in from Portsmill. Portsmill platform one. There we go. We can accept that one. That wants to go to Wakefield platform three. So we're going to have to swap that over going down this way and then Portsmill platform two. So we're going to go down to three and then across back to two. But as you can see at Portsmill, there is a train coming in fairly soon. In fact, there are a number of trains coming in fairly soon. So we've got COM21, COM, uh, then we've got, sorry, COM21 there. We've got Red09 there, COM22, COM21, which is going to be going back, so we can clear the signal in. COM21 there, and COM22. So you can see COM22 is also coming in on Platform 1, and we'll be heading back to Platform 2. And this is where things start getting a little bit more complicated. Now we can click Wakefield, and you can see there's 21, Red09, and 33. So there is going to be a 33 coming in at some point, probably from West Arold. There you go. So whilst that one is ready to go this way, in 49 seconds, COM21 is going to be leaving for Wakefield Platform 3 in 44 seconds now. COM33 is about to be ready to come into West Owl, so we're waiting for that to come up uh, in a moment. In fact, we could probably click that and accept. No, we cannot accept it just yet. So we're just going to wait for that one to to come along. Any second now, I guess we could go five times on the time and wait for this starts blinking. Now again, this is a simple, this is a really simple map. We'll accept that. It is stopping, so that is fine. Then it wants to go Wakefield 1, which is absolutely fine, not a problem. That's going to the top platform. And then after that, it's going to turn back around and head back to West Arrow. At this point in time, you can see that this has gone blue. When the writing goes blue, that means that the train is in motion, it's doing what it needs to do. When the writing is red, it is on a on a wait. And uh, I, th I believe that's saying that it has arrived and then this is departing or on its journey. And then when it goes yellow, I believe, or amber, that means it is preparing to leave as far as, as, far as I can figure out thus far. So again, we're just going to wait for a moment. We'll fast forward this. 
And you can see there's another one coming in for Portsmouth. We knew this one was coming. This one is passing Portsmouth at 8.04. And then you'll notice that it needs to be going... Oops, not that way. We need this to go all the way over there. This one is going to be going to Wakefield 1. So Reg 09 needs to be going all the way through. This one needs to now turn around and go this way so we can clear that all the way and you can see very quickly how things are going to get a little bit more difficult. So this one is apparently we get penalties for this breaking at signal. I cannot see any way of this not breaking at this signal, I'll be honest. Because this there there is no there's no way it can go. There is no way it can go. So you are going to wait there. Once you have gone through, so you see that is up to Wakefield. We can now switch the points here. There we go. And clear this one all the way. So it stops, sorry, that one stops at Wakefield. Okay, that's fine. Then it's going to pass West Arrow, so it's going, it's an express service, stops at Wakefield and that's about it. Portsmouth, we want another one coming in. That is fine, you're going to hold there. This one is already on its way out. You can see that, so this one is going to be leaving in 48 seconds. This one is on its way to Portsmill. Por Portsmill, yes, Portsmill. This one has just arrived at Portsmill. This one is now waiting. It needs to turn back around so we can reverse this and it is going to head to West Harold after this one has passed. So we cannot prepare the switch for this one. So we cannot uh, flip the points until this one has passed. So you can see how the complexity starts. Now, this is just three in pretty much a linear fashion we can get far more complicated and towards the end of the video I will show you a little bit more of a complicated one. Right, so all we've got to do is wait for this. Is there anything else coming through? COM33 and it says COM33, you're fine. It looks like we are almost finished on everything that we need. Yes. So this one wants to go Wakefield 3 so I can set these points up now because that isn't a problem. We've got this ready to go into Wakefield 3. And I'm sure with a few seconds to go, I can I can let that signal out. Now, one of the things I think that this does need to have is we need to have a little bit more indication here, maybe a blinking light above something or a blinking train when it's maybe 30 seconds to go. It just makes it a little bit easier to see what is what so we can swap that over 17 seconds i can clear you you are good and then you're through i'm not going to clear this one until there we go that signal i will now clear that one and we should be theoretically good to go anybody going to move yes you are moving you are moving and you're going to leave and you can see the X there means it is essentially out of our jurisdiction. So let's go ahead and move that to five times speed. I think that is all that is required for this one. So we swap that over, you're on your way out, you need to be reversed, you're cleared all the way to two and there we go. So again this one is a very easy one. This isn't a difficult one at all. But it does give you a, a sort of idea of how this works. I was only handling, I think there were three trains at any one time there, so it wasn't too difficult. But again, I think uh, to, to find improvements on this title, one, sound. It's very quiet there isn't much going on you can hear a little bit of you know the the wheels the bogies on the rail uh, as they pass through you know as they pass over points or anything like that or the um the welds in the rail or, or any of that the rivets or whatever it is but 
aside from that, there is not much in the way of noise. I'd like little alarms like that. I'd like little alarms. I'd like just little bits and bobs. I, I would like to to see or to hear more added to that. And again, alarms and lights for for the dispatch board. The dispatch board would be it be much much easier to see that. Once you've finished it tells you a good job it gives you a score what your precision was and what you failed so i had that one train reg 09 was breaking at a signal so we'll go back to the main menu and as you can see that was one of the one of the easy ones now i've done swindon and you can see swindon at the moment has quite a few i'm just going to show you Actually, I'll show you at the end of something like London Waterloo. But for now, let us have a look at an endless one. So we'll we'll get to see what an endless one is like and what you have to do with it. So let's pick. Uh, let's go up north and pick Glasgow, I guess. And let's see what is available here. So it's a different kind of gameplay. You have to get contracts. You have to, well, it says here, it's up to you now. Grow your railway empire from the scratch. From the scratch? From scratch. Build up the traffic by accepting contracts. So they've accepted a few to provide us an easier start. Great. So you've got money, as you can see. Now we have money. When you feel comfortable, buy new platforms, expand a new station and accept contracts there. Decline contracts you don't want to run. It's part of the game. So that's another thing that you do have to bear in mind declining contracts is a part of the game so up here you've got your experience points and you can see that clicking on that we have contracts uh, so we've got freight contract in cities red to green uh, we've got platform adjustments coach yard and then in automation so these are all system upgrades that we can have automatic routing command chain routing queues sensors uh, auto accepting trains etc controls auto blocks basic dispatcher basic tracks really quite in depth they have thought about this train enter button smart sort next station display alerts highlight oh highlight trains needing attention something i was just mentioning that okay so maybe on the timetable mode all of these should be defaults enabled perhaps so you can actually get the focus only on getting the timetable correct maybe that would be quite a quite a good thing and then we've got focusing and things like that if we go over to here we've got connections so you can see that we can build i believe it's right middle click right click i'm not sure but you can build more track so for example if i wanted to connect uh, easter house to cumbernaut we could go over there or Bridgeton down to, well, I guess if we want to go anywhere down here, uh, Carstairs, Motherwell, uh, Newton, down to Glasgow Central, across to Glasgow Central, Queen Street and out to Ashfield. If we wanted to do that, that would be uh, something you, you could do as well. So that is how you build them. And, and you can see that there are plenty of platforms uh, available. Different types of tracks. You've got tunnels, coach yards, uh, manual signals and everything costs uh, again to buy platforms you can click there so there you go that's would allow you to buy uh, you can unlock it in system upgrades then buy it so that's a that's an auto auto block then you've got the platforms over here like so then you've got your system upgrades which you can also find by clicking up here and then the last one is your contracts and you can see if we go to active contracts we have some trains coming in and that's the that there is the reward we can have so let's play this for a little while and let's see what what we have so i'll have one for bridgeton bridgeton we have as you can see platform three cannot be cannot be accepted so we're going platform uh, platform 2 so we'll accept that there we go and that seems to be the only one that we currently have coming in do we have anything coming in here no that is going to be com 50 5801 i have a feeling the names for these trains are wrong in the uk i'm not sure we have com to start with we just have a a i think it's a letter Sorry, a number, a letter to T, 
two numbers, so like one delta five five, something like that. So there we go, that is stopped there. Now we can just clear it through to uh, Cumbernaud and we will go, there we go, that is cleared where it needs to go. So we can now go five times. Now you're probably wondering, well, hang on a minute, this is going to be rather easy. But as we build things up using the scroll wheel, you can see that is much, much bigger and much more interesting. So for example, we could even do, I could, let's say, purchase purchase that for 1,500, build a track from Easter House to Cumbernaud there and have a completely another track that we can access and similar here I could purchase something here so we have two tracks that can come from Bridgeton and then one track from East House or, or whatever we want to do or however we wanted to do it so I'm going to look at some of this I'm not sure why this is stopped uh, oh because I'm buying right that makes sense makes sense uh, we do not want to purchase any of that as you can see we have to get some of these to so I think that's passenger and freight I believe so they oh sorry one to two recurring then that's how you get those fair enough makes sense so you're stopping there then you want to go to Bridgeton platform one so we'll reverse you and clear you out and you can be on your way pretty simple let's go ahead and purchase a platform here and let's go ahead and purchase some oh, let's see if we can buy some tracks uh, slow that down is there any way for me to unlock new tracks perhaps no yes basic tracks ah we've got to do 10 there you go 10 and 1 so let's see how this pans out for us and because this is endless we're just going to get trains coming forever so that has stopped there you can see so we'll go five times and look we have uh, another contract available so we could accept this one except it wants to go bridged into costes and cost this is not connected so we want to go from here all the way down and we cannot we actually cannot do that so we have to route, route it around there down here around here or through motherwell and then wherever we want to go so we're going to have to decline this which is fine as we said that is part of, of the title but it tells us exactly what we are after so there we go We've got some money there and we have one point. Britain has another waiting. So Britain 2, we can accept that. Cumbernaut 3 and then Britain 1. So we can accept that one as well. Now at the same time, I'm going to see if I can... Now you'll notice here that because of where we are, this does not have an outside connection. So this is at the moment for us a terminus. Nothing can come in through here we can get things in from Easter House we can get things in from Bridgeton and that is that is it there is nowhere else we can get things from yeah there is there is absolutely nowhere else at this point in time that we can we can get things in from so there we go so what I'm going to try and do is potentially I'm going to try and play some track how do I do this so is it going to be ah we can click uh so what do we click like that there we go so it's just a simple clicking uh what i will do is there we go that is what i'm going to do and i will also do that even though we haven't purchased that yet and that will do nicely and I guess if we really wanted to we could do that um, that might work for us so there we go I, I've built some additional track now uh, let, and maybe this might help and you can see that the points come in automatically but it does allow us to now go come and order platform one if we wanted to 
and we can clear this one all the way through so we can now use Cumberdor platform one should we want to take trains up there so there we go we'll now fast forward see if there's anything else there is something going to be coming in um, at Easter House we can also yes there are no no additional contracts no 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 additional contracts and there are some more trains coming in, so we can just go 15 times or uh, yeah, just check what we've got. That then needs to go back to Bridgeton 1, so I'm going to set this up already for us. And we will reverse this train and clear it. So nice and easy at this point in time. But we have two contracts now available. Look at that, Bridgeton, coming Lord, Bridgeton. I think we can take that. Uh, so we can decline this one and we could take... Uh, this one there we go okay recurrent recurrent contracts so we've accepted our first recurrent contract so this is similar to something I've seen before on something like airport CEO where you can have single train contracts or recurring ones and that is what we have here so these will expand the traffic to your railroad network significantly to so pay attention to each one you accept the first train for each contract is a trial train so that will determine how much money you get per train based on how fast the trial was try to handle it as fast as possible the trial train will record its timetable and the contract will spawn a new train every 60 minutes with the timetable from the trial train and then you can optimize or reject it later that's really clever and well thought out so this one did you please tell me you wanted to go back to platform one you did so this one wants to come to platform two so we'll accept that there we go and it, it's not telling me that it is not telling me I've got other platforms I need to take this on to so that is interesting so unless it it isn't telling me that I need another platform so what I could do is I could just take this straight for platform 3 I'll be quite happy with that so platform 2 to platform 3 is will be quite quite useful in fact if it uses any that would be really helpful for numerous platforms so again we've got another one um, I I'm not sure if I should take this so I'll leave this here for now. Let's see if it disappears or not. Uh, so we will go 15 times and you can see that that is now fine. We've got another one passing platform two. So I guess, uh, right. I could accept this. It is going to have to wait though at platform two for this one to go through. So we'll wait for that and then as soon as that is done I'll swap this over and you are cleared through Easter House now. Off you go. So that's a Freight 18901. You can turn around. Ah, there we go. So it's, it's right. So when you accept it on a platform it is going to lock that platform in not something I'm keen on I would much rather be able to select different platforms because for example we do have trains that come in on different platforms depending on what is at that uh, free at that point in time I'd, I'd bring this back straight onto platform two as well so we can just run two three two uh, over here we've got a couple more in fact we've got quite a few more So, I suppose, let's decline that, let's also wait for this because there is another one coming in. There we go, there's another train, so we'll accept that one. And then, so this, this could get, gets very busy very quickly, I think. What do you mean bad plans? Oh, that was supposed to be on platform two. Right, well, I've made a hash of that. Uh, your contract completed for the trial successfully. Okay. Uh, five trains repeat every 60 minutes. What is it? Five trains every 60 minutes. Okay. 
I can accept that. So we'll get 900. Maximum was 1,000. We can get 900 for that. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. And do we still have contracts here? We do. Uh, let me... Oh, let me decline a few. So we have this one, look, up to 5,000. But obviously you get penalised if you're, if you're late. So let's, ha let's have a look at our current active contracts. How do we know which one is recurring and which one is not? That is the other thing. So there's our live train, what, what tells us whether it is recurring or not. Anything? No. No, it doesn't. Okay. So that is a little annoying. But still, we have we have things happening, things going on. Uh, you have reached a limit of five offered contracts. New contracts generation is halted. Okay, great. Um, that's fine. Don't worry if the target speed is too high. That's normal and you will catch up later. Good tip. So what I'm looking for here is I'm, I want to start clearing some contracts out. And if I can clear some contracts out from, from this, then I will be able to handle. So for example, as soon as I start getting these three going through, then we'll know. Right, have you noticed these? Yes. Uh, awarded for non-delayed trains and can be used to unlock the system upgrades. Okay, to get those, unlock either one-off freight or intercity contracts. So that is how we get those. I will close that. And let's have a look then at one of these. I know Britain wants another train, but let's have a look at what we have available. So we can get one-time freight contracts right there. So that is going to allow us to unlock that. And then automation, we could have automatic signaling over here or auto accept trains. So that's another one that we could do. Please ignore the squeaky chair. Right, so we have we have options here, control interface here, um, auto block. We can buy auto blocks now uh, we could speed up. Tra well, we cannot. We cannot afford those. Uh, increase station limit to seven stations. Well, but we're nowhere near that at the moment. So let's let's try let's try this one. Let's see what this one time. Although I cannot take any more contracts at this point in time, so perhaps that isn't worth it. So let's do auto signal. Um. Now let's do auto accept trains. So this upgrade allows new configuration op option in the station detail. It allows you to the station to direct new trains to to their free corresponding platforms. Um, ah, now that might be a problem because it might let trains in where we do not want to accept them at that at a specific point in time. Worth giving a go. Let's try that. So, for example, let's click Bridgeton and can we do, where, where's this auto accept, there it is, auto accept trains. So now, if I play this, there we go, the train comes in of its own accord, which is pretty good. So now all we have to do is handle this. So I can say, yep, that, that is clear in there. That's auto accept trains, that is on auto accept trains. This makes things, life, a little bit easier for us now. And I think that this is where the, the complexity of the title will start coming in because you'll start looking at this and say, OK, we need to accept this train, accept that train, etc, etc. Uh, this one, we still need to turn the trains around clearly, as you can see. Uh, so we'll, can we reverse the train? Reverse, there we go. Apparently, is that early on its way out? Did I did I find a bug of some sort? No idea. 
So this is where I suppose signalling would be extremely important. So let's see, Bridgeton, we should just get another train coming in of its own accord. It is! There we go. So this one, Bridgeton 2, uh, Commodore 3, Bridgeton 1. So we are happy with that one. And we just, we just go. Nice and simple at this point in time, as, as we've seen. Okay, you're into where you need to be. Stopping at station. We will now turn you around. And we will select that and we will clear you through there. So again, a, a lot, a lot simpler. Um, what we, what I should now do is if I pause this, let's see if I can purchase a, a way into, oh, let's see, Glasgow Central. Let's purchase one, should we purchase one platform? Let's purchase three platforms into Glasgow Central. Auto blocks are locked at this point in time, but, but we have a way into Glasgow Central by creating some track out of here. Can we not do that? Does this track not go across? Wait, what? All those. Uh, how do I bulldoze? There we go. Can I not? Oh, okay. So th the blue tells you where the connection is. That is something that we cannot go through. So that's annoying. Okay. So I guess buying into Glasgow Central was a, a waste of a waste of money um, until we can do the upgrade for. What was it? So it wasn't that. Auto blocks. We shouldn't be too far. We should not be too far away at all. Okay. Oh, we've got a freight train coming in. East House passing. And we want to go that way. That way you are cleared through. Where is it an occupied segment? Not a clue. Right, and you're you're through. Uh, no trains to dispatch at this point in time. There are some more coming in, of course. There's one. So you want three, two, th yeah, okay, so you're the stand. So this one's one of those standard trains that wants to come along. So we'll just fast forward through this as we get our points. What is next? Anything else coming through Easter House? No. Uh, then we'll turn this train around. Set one and we are good to go. Should be another train coming in platform two. So it looks like they come in on platform two, go over there and then head off in, in this direction. That seems to be what they're doing. Yes, it, same, probably this exact same concept here. Yes, so this is literally the same concept the entire way through. So a little bit, a little bit dull at this point in time, but again, we're, we're trying to, we're trying to get the points. And as you can see, that there, there is the opportunity to, to improve upon all of this. Can you reverse? That isn't what I wanted to do. There, you are cleared. Back to Bristol One. There comes another train. Again. Oh, wait. This one's Bridgeton 2 to Bridgeton 2. Ah, so you do have to pay attention. You do certainly have to pay attention. This one does not change. And there's a freight train coming through. You want to go Easter House. You hold there. Uh, you can now be cleared through. You would have to reverse. And then we will do that and you're cleared. Right, now we have a problem. Now we have a problem. So this is what I was worried about. Is trains coming in where, where they should not be. So this one's already come in where perhaps we wouldn't have accepted that until this one was out. Because this one really should be on Bridgeton 2 which I now cannot do anything 
about uh, right now we have a problem this is going to be a collision yep there you go game over well okay that's a that's a nice place to stop it that's certainly a definitely a nice place to to stop this um, clearly that that went horribly wrong uh, so still some optimizations maybe to go on that O to accept uh, maybe I'm not sure maybe maybe there's something that needs to be looked into that but as you can see there is a lot that you can do you can build up a lot on this I've only started I've only essentially touched the surface with all of this so just before we end I'm going to go to back to the main menu and I'm going to show you maybe not an endless map but a timetable map for something like should we have a look at London let's have a look at London Bridge because I can see this one going very wrong very quickly for me but I think it might be somewhat entertaining for you so let's go ahead and see what we have as you can see there is a lot to load on this because it is a much larger map lots of rails so it does take a while to load still taking a while okay let's pause this and let's just let's just um, appreciate the complexity of that and we have four stations already waiting for us to to um, bring trains in or four stations or four entry points so we've got uh, trains coming in we've trains wanted to come in at Blackfriars we have trains wanted to come in for Cannon Street uh, so through the entry zone for Cannon Street we've got London Bridge uh, Southeastern and Thameslink nine platforms there and London Bridge six platforms what's SN I'm not sure what SN is I'm sure TL and SE is Thameslink and Southeastern South not sure not sure at all we've got Elephant and Castle there um, Charing Cross entry zone and Waterloo East so we do not have the entire Waterloo station it's way more platforms than that uh, then we've got Surrey Keys Deptford New Cross and then we've got the way out uh, Lewisham Tombridge down towards Hastings the New Cross Gate Queens Road in Peckham South Bermondsey and we've also got ways going to Croydon Gatswick and Brighton this is going to be quite uh, quite an interesting one so we've got Charing Cross and you can see that it isn't just one so uh, Southeastern to Charlie Zero One will be wanting to go it'll be passing the entry zone at 12 o'clock heading into London Charing Cross platform 3 so we need to get this ready for platform 3 there we go that is ready for platform 3 I'm not sure what these signals are these might be the auto signals so these are manual these are automatic I think okay so we can accept that oh sorry not platform 3 platform 1 is no platform 1 here yep sorry okay that's a little bit confusing so that's line 1 going to Charing Cross platform 3 that is correct okay so that's the first one in Watts wants to come into Blackfriars platform 1 we can accept uh, Thameslink 9 Charlie 1 0 onto platform 1 uh, after which we are going to go we need to have that set uh, for London Bridge uh, we want to go platform 4 on London Bridge so we have to watch this all the way down so there's platform 4 and we can probably have this go I'll probably route it down this one and then into platform 4 through there that looks good to me 
Okay, then we've got Cannon Street Entry Zone. By the way, I'm not going to do this for more than a few minutes. I know this has been a long video. We're going to be headed for Cannon Street Platform 4. So let's set that up for Platform 4. Yep, I'm happy for that to go through. And we have another one coming in from probably from Hastings. This one wants to come through, wants to head to New Cross Platform 2. Two, so we could probably let that in on to and I think we should be okay there right now we zoom out and you can see the, the nightmare that we have going on here so we can probably play that in in just real time this is where I think multiplayer would look fantastic this is honestly where multiplayer would look brilliant. So this one is coming through here. This one has stopped going through. Uh, I think that's going to stop there. You are I'm not sure what these signals are. I have no idea what the signal is. Let's pause that. Is it because so? Ah, so we can control the signal into there and then into there. Okay, so that's that signal ready to go. Then this one, I suppose, we can control the signal down to here, uh, there to there, there to there. Out there to do you not want to accept that there to there and then there there to there okay wow this is a uh, complicated this is very complicated we're going for platform four and we're clear in and then you are cleared in to new cross come on oh no wait there's another one there missed that so what there no what am I doing wrong here? Oh, do we click each section or... Oh, maybe you click the plan... Okay, I have no idea. I'm still learning this. So, there we go. We have trains coming in, I guess. Yeah, you're, you're on your way through. You're on your way through. Oh, my word. Um... Okay, so we have a train wanting to come in at Elephant and Castle. One coming in from Surrey Keys, another one coming in Charing Cross through the entry, one at Deptford, another one probably coming in from Hastings or something like that, and another one coming in from either Gatswick or Bryson. Okay, so we have Tam Thameslink, 9 Bravo 1 0, wanting to come in on platform 3, uh, heading through New Cross Gate. Wait, so you're just going to head straight through all the way up to platform five up here so I'm sure at this point in time I, I've I've made you you all more than aware of the difficulties and complexity of this title honestly the the thought process that has gone through this is phenomenally good it truly is and I am extremely impressed with with the way they have done this uh, no I want that to go through there sorry no how do I cancel this uh, uh, cancel that there we go right and there there oh I can just click all the way great um, Honestly, the, the the thought process on this is so well done. It really, really is. Uh, I think that the the developers have done a phenomenal job bringing this in and bringing this, developing this in, in such a way. They they deserve quite a bit of credit, and I I want to see I want to see just how far 
this this title is is going to is going to go because I think I think there is a lot that this title is going to be able to to offer. There we go. That is cleared all the way through. Another train waiting to come in. Well, we cannot let a train in here at this point in time. Uh, you want to go Charing Cross 5 anyway. Uh, if you want to see more videos on this, please do let me know. I'm not going to be capable of doing this just yet, but I think that there there is a lot that this offers there's a lot to think about there it's uh it's just very very cleverly done we've got a tunnel where does that tunnel come out ah, here so it would be ah there we go if you hover over that it does tell you where the tunnel comes out and we want to go to new cross gate plats wait what new cross oh not new cross gate new cross which is there how do I get to platform four of new... Right, okay. There. That is how I'm going to get through that one. So I could clear this all the way in, like so. This is, this is really well done. So, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on on uh well i guess new titles or different simulators obviously that is what i tend to do for the most part mostly simulators and the occasional minecraft and uh some other stuff anyway leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think this is this is incredible very difficult so i can tell you that already but this is incredible i would love to see this in multiplayer where someone could be handling so one person could be handling all the entry zones Another person could be handling uh, maybe Charing Cross and Waterloo. Another person can be handling Blackfriars, Elephant and Castle and Cannon Street. Another person can be handling London Bridge itself. Another person could handle down here and the other person could handle up here. That would be you know, brilliant to see uh, just maybe not even four players, maybe even three, two or three players as a multiplayer. That is something I am looking forward to seeing. Hopefully they do manage to do something along those lines. But yes, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, comment and subscribe. If you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon. Link in the description box below. And also, you can find me on social media at EC Gadgets, LP for both Twitter and Instagram. That is all from me. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to try to handle traffic uh, in and out of London. Uh, yeah, let, let's, uh, let's see. I'm so glad Victoria isn't on this. Imagine if they had London Victoria stuck up here as well. Or Liverpool Street and King's Cross and Paddington. That would be it. I'm going down a rabbit hole. Never mind. I'll see you next time.